Hello everyone, in this video we are trying to learn basic JavaScript for Orthogen. To access Orthogen, uh, we have the link code.orthogen.com and here we have the very first line and this line is the statement for JavaScript and a JavaScript in suite semicolon and when we run this we have the text printed in the console. So if we want to stop the line or any statement from running, we can type forward slash two times and this stops from printing. So now if we run this again, here we have nothing in the console. In JavaScript, we have different types of data types. The first one is the string. And this string is uh, drawn by single quotes, or it can be double quotes. And inside these single or double quotes, we type some text. And uh, this has been assigned to the variable name grid string. And uh, here we have the VAR, and that refers uh, this line or this uh, grid string to be the variable name. And this can be printed um, by print inside which, uh, inside the parentheses, we have the variable name. And every time we have the uh, semicolons at the end of the statement. Similarly, there is the next type of uh, data type that is number. And here we have the number as the variable name and the value has been put to and we can print them as print and inside the print here we have two different uh, things going on. The first one here is the uh, inside the single quote. This is the text uh, that is going to help us uh, what the printed uh, is, what the print is going to be about. And uh, this appears in two different lines. We will see this later. And similarly, there is another data type that is list. So the list can be created with the uh, this type of square brackets. And inside the square brackets, we have uh, the numbers here. And this also can be printed. And the list can be also the strings. Here we have the strings uh, each time inside the uh, inside the single quotes. And this also can be printed out. And for creating the um, dictionary, uh, this is the type of data type which is created by the curly brackets here. And inside the curly bracket, we have different key and value pairs. So here we have the first one here, first key, second, and third one. And third one is the list here. And uh, this dictionary can be printed out in different uh, different ways. First one here is we can directly print that by uh, typing the variable name and to access the specific uh, key to keying the uh, dictionary, we can do that by uh, the variable name here or the dictionary name. And inside the big brackets here, we have the key that we want to be printed. Similarly, it can also be accessed by dot and by writing the uh, key name. And so this prints the value. And there is also the next type of things we can do, that is the function. Uh, users can build their own types of function. And so the function name is given by uh, here we have the function we mean by my function, it can be anything. And the function starts with the function and inside this uh, parenthesis, we have different parameters. There can be a number of parameters. And after that, we have the curly brackets here and inside this we have different statements. And then finally, we can uh, some values uh, from that uh, function as uh, the region. So here we have the example uh, of the function here. So here we have the uh, function name. The function name is reflect. And what it does is it is, uh, this is element is the uh, parameters. And what it is doing is it is just returning the uh, input element. This is the simple function here. And finally, we have the um, 
oxygen function. So the previous one all were the uh, functions from the user, and this in particular is the function given by the oxygen. So we want to run this all. You can see. So let's see this again. The first one here was the print, and we were just printing the uh, variable. And here we have got this text here. And the second one was the uh, number uh, data type. And here we have printed the number. And so the, the first one here it was to help us know uh, what the variable is going to be about. And this appears in two different lines, the first one here and the second line. Similarly, we had the list here and we had just printed the list. You can see it appear, it um, starts or it appears from zero to other numbers. And similarly, we had the list of strings that were ABCD, we had printed them as well. And similarly, we had the dictionary. And so we can see uh, the dictionary had uh, three different properties or three different keys, and it, each has been accessed. The first one was to access the uh, key variable named FOO, and that was printed out by uh, this way by using the big brackets here, big uh, square brackets. And uh, the other one was by dot. So by writing the uh, dictionary name, the dot, and the uh, key name, we have uh, got this result here. And similarly, we had uh, the function here. And what it was doing was it was uh, just uh, providing or printing the result that we had entered. So for example, here we had the text here, and it is just printing the text that we had entered. And the last one was the um, last one was the oxygen function. There are so many different functions um, provided by the oxygen. So this was the very first um, JavaScript uh, thing. JavaScript we need to know uh, to begin uh, oxygen. So thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. So thank you.